when x is equal to 0, tan square x is equal to 0, which implies that integral part of tan square x is equal to 0. Therefore, clearly, f of 0 is equal to 0. Now, regardless of whether x is positive or x is negative, tan square x is always positive. Therefore, as x tends to 0 from the positive side or x tends to 0 from the negative side, tan square x tends to 0 from the positive side only, which implies that integral part of tan square x is equal to 0. Therefore, the limit of integral part of tan square x as x tends to 0 from the positive side is equal to the limit of integral part of tan square x as x tends to 0 from the negative side and both of these are equal to 0. Therefore, to conclude, the limit of fx as x tends to 0 from the positive side is equal to the limit of fx as x tends to 0 from the negative side, which is equal to f0, and all of these are equal to 0. It therefore follows that fx is continuous at x is equal to 0, which is the required result.